Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today we're going to have a look at how to connect a T-Ring to a Skywatch to Star Travel 80 for prime focus photography. And by prime focus, as it is here now, there is no diagonal or no eyepiece used. And so this then becomes a 400mm f5 telephoto lens, which is fantastic if you put it on a driven mount for wide field imaging of the night sky. But you can also use it on uh, distant terrestrial subjects or even ships at sea and all you do is you get your T-ring for whichever camera you have <clears throat> this one's a Canon EOS by the way screw it on then you can connect your camera body only to the T-ring and you're good to go chances are you're going to be using manual exposure anyway so that's, n that's no problem for Canons and Nikons but for a, a number of your modern mirrorless cameras, just checking the instructions that there is a setting where you can take a photograph with no lens attached. There is a handy little tip that one of my YouTube viewers gave me the other week and I very much appreciate that. When you put your camera on, it, it may be at an angle, which you might, and, uh, and you might want to flip the camera at 45, 90 degrees or whatever to get it level. And Andy little tip he told me was three little grub screws round the side of this T-ring and the T-ring itself comes in an inner and outer section. If you slacken them off you can rotate the T-ring itself while it still remains firmly in place on the telescope and then tighten them back up once in place. But be, sh be sure to not untighten them too much because if they do come out they're extremely small and very easy to get lost. A, another thing that a lot of people find is with some cameras you try to get focus and no matter how far you take it out there is simply not enough outward focus to get infinity focus and there is a way around that and all you do take your T ring off and then you can get things called T2 extensions you get them in all different sizes you can put them on one by one or put them together like so it depends how much outward focus you need and all you do take the T2 extension screw it on where you put the T-ring and put the T-ring into the extension and there you have extended focus and you should be able to get prime prime focus or infinity focus on the stars. If that's not far enough then you can get different ones to add. So that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I thought I'd also mention on the top here for taking photographs you can adjust the tension of the focus so if you get it in in focus and you've got the scope at an angle and you don't want it to creep as much just you can then tighten it on and so it stays nicely in focus. Uh, instead of these, if you don't have these T2 extensions, you, you, you can um, use other methods. Uh, you can get 1.25 inch extension tubes which do the same job. And also if you have a barrel or lens or T-adapter, uh, providing they have a T-thread, that they do a similar job. But I think this is the best connection and the most secure connection that you can use. So as always, I hope that helps. And thank you very much for watching. Please check out the links in the description below.